All right, what's going on, everybody? Brian back with another video. Today we're gonna be or live stream. Jeez, video. Jeez, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Um, we're gonna be jumping in, playing some Horizon Forbidden West, guys. It's been uh, it, it's been a hell of a road with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. That game was amazing. Uh, so I'm really, really looking forward into jumping into the second game. Good thing I started the uh, the first one just recently so i didn't have to wait that long in order to uh have to experience the second one oh, wrong button we want ps5 all right so here we go guys um horizon forbidden west uh, i'll be playing this on playstation 5 uh, hopefully that'll all go good. Uh, there's like some weird little audio tick that you guys might hear. Uh, I spent the last 45 minutes trying to figure out how to fix it. I don't know how, so I'm, it's gonna have to be something I look into later on. Um, it's not the worst thing ever. It's just every now and again you'll hear like this little like ticking sound. Um, it's driving me insane, but I'm pretty sure you guys won't really notice it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be sitting here now. Granted, I played the first Horizon on mouse and keyboard. I'm gonna have to play this one on controller, and I'm just so you guys know I'm dog shit with controllers, so I'm not looking forward to this at all. But how is everybody doing this morning? I know it's a really, really early morning. I generally uh, stream a lot later than I am now currently. But let's not waste any more time. Let's let's get into this. Let me get the audio on. Well, you guys got audio. So yeah, uh, we had a little bit of the um, of the first game left, and I didn't end up finishing it only because there. I, I thought I had more left than I did, but come to find out, I literally only had to kill one. Fireclaw, and I, I really didn't have much left, so um, that's why I ended up not. Mm. Now I remember why I uninstalled this stupid ass program. Sorry about that, guys. I had to bring up this program. <laughs> All right, so you guys got game audio. I got game audio. It's not desynced. We're good to go. Let's do it. I uh, so I'm switching between like my main PC and my uh, in my PS5. It's 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 a bunch of back and forth, guys. Performance mode or quality mode? I don't I don't know what that is. Let me let me see. I never checked out any of these. Um hmm. 
I, I didn't know there was a, a difference. Uh, cause I'm playing on PS5, so graphics mode, favor resolution, whoops. Graphics mode, favor resolution, favor performance. Um, I mean, it's on a PS5. Does it, does that matter? Oh, well, that's a big difference. All right, we'll check out both. We'll see, we'll see how, uh, both of them run. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll change it up if we have to. Yeah. So I feel like there's an audio desync. I don't know. We'll we'll just play and see. If there's an audio desync, I'll 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 fix it afterwards. See, I didn't know that guys. I, I thought because we are on a, a PlayStation 5. Hey Morhead, dude. Thank you so much for the super chat. You're in for a treat. This game is so sick. Finally got a sick PC so I can game in the near future at full my yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this, man. I don't know, I feel like there's like a small audio delay. And it's gonna really drive me insane. Don't play on the- I, no, we're not playing on a normal difficulty, dude. We played on- I, I ended up playing the first game on, uh, very hard. Because it, it, it got- it got slightly easy. So that's why, uh, I definitely don't think I need to play it on the, uh, the easy mode. I think we're going to play it on the, uh, there we go. We're good. We're going to play it on, I, what, what do you guys think? We'll, we'll start on hard. Yeah, we'll start on hard. Um, so Explorer is... Minimal HUD information. Look at the world to find your way. Guided is markers and icons on the screen. We'll go explore. Screw it. Hard explore. Wow. Running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. Does anybody hear that? Why does that sound like that? Yeah, I, th I, I, I got you guys. I got you guys. Hold on. Hold on. Give me one second. I told you guys, I was having issues with this audio. I could not figure this shit out. Um, sounds like Ultron. Yo, that, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know what the hell that is. Changing the actual console's audio. Let me see.
Go ahead, phones. And then extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. That still sounds very, very sharp. Very, very like. You know what I mean? Is that is that what you guys are getting? Oh, it's in the PS5? Oh, man. So you guys are teaching me. I've never used... Guys, this is... I, I hate consoles for these reasons. Because I, I have no idea what the hell we're doing. Let me see. How do I even go back to the... Let me see. PlayStation. Sound. Audio. Um... Well, I'll turn that off because that doesn't make any sense. Audio format. Um, I don't even know how to change, guys. I, I was just flicking shit. Oh, after... I... A backup of Gaia. Oh, the I The can... AIU designed to control the system. Oh, oh so much better. Whew, my ears. I don't know. Does Every it sound better for you guys? Because it's better for me. It comes to nothing. <laughs> And every night. I no, it's still bad. All right, I got it. It still has an echo. I can fix the echo. I know. I know what that is. I think. Dream. All right, is it still echoing? I'm walking under a brilliant night sky. Is it still echoing? Through a field of flowers. Good now? Yep. And All right. I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. All right, there it is. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start we're going to start all over again. So with no interruptions. Yeah. All right, let's do this again. New game, hard, explore. Let's do it. You know, the first 16 minutes. It don't sound like we're in an empty concert room anymore. <laughs> there we go. The terraforming system spiraling out of control, and only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return, and then extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need a backup of Gaia, the AIU designed to control the system. Was Gaia the, well, Gaia was the whole thing. I think I have a lead. 
That comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. I'm always left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. So we're still wearing the shield armor from, from the first game. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well... Consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? It must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving this game is fucking gorgeous. Ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> well, we're giving him a focus? Focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. A little overwhelming, you know, you give the man something he's you never see, like, seen before in his, in his whole life. He was like, alright, let's go. Come on. Come on. Shall we? Got a couple of scrapes on the way here. 
We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Oh, wh whoa, what the hell? Why is the controller inverted, dude? Why is that a... Unless I change that accidentally. <laughs> These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Uh, so it's what? To pulse your focus. Oh, yo, the focus is actually kind of... Oh, okay, okay. So in this, you can literally just pulse your focus. Which sends out a wave, or you can like hold it and actually bring it up like you did in the first game. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. Alright, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. We got some more across the water there. Whoops. I, wow, this game looks so good. So up this way. Look there, more of the blight. <coughs> oh, this stuff spreads fast. Six months ago, the land was fine. Now it's everywhere. Hades went organic. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. So we only have our hunter bow, though, and our and a spear. Yeah. I, um, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. <coughs> oh. So she's claiming that we lost a lot of our gear on the way here. Of course. Of course, you know, everything we went through in the first game, now all of a sudden we're losing our gear. What is that? Are those glints? Carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. I think those were glint hawks. Oh, look at this, we found something. Holy shit. Aloy, like, how do you go down, though? There we go. Oh, the current's taking us away, dude. All right, so in the back area there, we were able to get our hands on some ancient, uh, just collectible stuff that we, or not collectible, like, uh, loot that we can sell for some shards later. I think the Glint Hawks took off. That'd be a pretty tough fight, though. 
Glenhawks are pretty annoying. They have an ice, an oh, ice attack. Better take a closer look. This is a scrapper. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Okay, so just like before, we um, use in R and hold X. Max yeah. out. We got 20. Me too. Arrows ready. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. Yo, it's so weird playing with um, having like a vibration in my hand. It, it's it's crazy. I know, guys. Look at like look at the graphics. It it looks really really good. Almost a hundred likes already. Thank you, everybody. I know we had uh, some technical difficulties when we first started, but uh, by the gods, what was this place? I don't know. The transmission, the uh, message I found, didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Maria? Oh, what is this? Uh, jump. Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. That's Goldthorn but Pepper. Some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. So that's probably a, uh, a crafting. Damn. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. Then people will get sick, too. And starve. We're not going to let that happen. Nice. Just doing a bunch of looting now, guys, so I don't have to worry about it later. Get a bunch of wood um, for arrows. Looks like a dead end. Dude, I know. Relax. I don't know if they'll really hide any gear or anything, but our shield armor... Um, I don't think it's active because I don't see the glow around it that we had in the first game. Not getting through that way. Change the batteries. So let me see. Oh, you can pry open the trunk? What? Hold on, hold on, guys. Yo, you can pry open trunks. That definitely was not a thing in the first game. Just want to make sure we checked all the cars that I could check. Yeah, we're good.
It said pry open trunk on that last car? No, it didn't, dude. Where? Liars! Oh, maybe... Oh, the hood! You can pry open the hood! I was looking at trunks only. Yeah, so you can do the fronts, guys, too. The, the, you can do the hood and the, and the boot. Sell some metal shards and crap. Look at that. Oh, we got some eyeballs. Ancient metal eyes. Never die. Yeah, I, I, I know. I can't, can't doubt chat. So we're already starting off the game getting that good loot. You know what I mean? Now that I know we can do the fronts and the backs of the cars. Loot goblins unite! <laughs> Blight makes my throat itch. Well, don't breathe it in, dude. Oh, man. I'm already liking this, guys. Let's grab some, uh... We're gonna have a lot of, uh, Ridgewood. We're going to try to beat our goal, or our, 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 we had like 3,700 Ridgewood in our inventory in the first game. <laughs> it was, uh, it was impressive. Okay, so I think we got all we can get out of this area. Then as we, uh, lost all of our gear, we're going to definitely try to make sure we loot up a bunch of supplies. Down this way. Is that? Is that a watcher? Me neither. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. A second. Okay. See how parts it's a of burrower. It Those are its weak spots. Got it. So it's got a sound shell. It's detachable, destroyed when killed. Um, key upgrade resource. So we want to remove that uh, because if you uh, if you kill it, it will uh, destroy that. So uh, resource container on the back. It's also destroyed when killed. So you want to detach that. It's, it's a weak spot. Right. But we want to take off those parts right there. At least the at least the uh, resource container. I'm ready. Okay, concentrate. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, controller, hold on, controller. You know, your boy needs to turn on some aim. We don't need strong aim assist. We'll, we'll, we'll just, okay. We'll, what is motion aiming? Uh, fine tuning optional for aiming. You, uh, we don't want that. Whatever. We'll just try to shoot like this. See how it goes. Oh, what are you shooting at? Got it off. Okay. So we got the, uh,. the eyeball I wasn't too bad right guys I didn't do too bad another one's coming no we got the valuable container off got it off No! 
shit. I wanted to test out the melee, and we just got our asses kicked. Focus know all that. It reads data on the machine. Okay, like yeah, there we go. Studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Burrowers. So we already met our first so new machine. Fuss over me leaving. What did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. Someone shot this machine, too. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get some uh, arrows crafted up, too. We can already tell we're on a hard difficulty, a higher difficulty, guys. I, that thing hit me freaking twice, and almost I was almost dead. I see another ladder. Looks like it's stuck. Well, relax, dude. We gotta finish looting the area, man. Can never have too much Ridgewood, right? Is, is that the saying? That's the saying, right, guys? That's that. That's what they say. You can never have too much Ridgewood. All right, let's go to that ladder. You've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. Oh, oh yeah, we could check. Let's yeah, we could check upgrades and stuff. So inventory, um, resources. That's what we have so far. Uh, yeah, we actually already have decent amount of uh, valuables to sell. Oh, they broke it up now, guys. So now it's actually broken up into valuables to sell, gear upgrades, um, ammunition resources, food resources, healing. So before it was kind of like this big hodgepodge thing. You had to like read the actual item itself to figure out what was like what you could just straight up sell but i like this category a lot because what you would end up doing is you would sell gear upgrades because they were like i don't you guys you guys know what i mean but yeah it's really really cool that they actually split it up like that all right ammo special gear we have none tools uh stones yeah so we got rocks for distraction we're wearing the well-worn armor made with repurposed technology from an ancient lab after losing its power source. It was modified to augment range combat. Okay, yeah, so it did lose its power, guys. The, uh, the, uh, power suit that we were wearing there. Wow, so it seems like there's a lot of, uh, skills now. There was a lot of skills in the first game, too. Okay, we don't we don't have I I don't have crafting yet. There is no crafting unlocked yet. But we got our first Oh man, there's a lot of machines, guys. What 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 2. Well, I think 43 slots here. Going into a ruin of the old ones. 
God has protect us. We'll be okay, Varl. Through here. Turn up the speaking volume for the characters. I think it's at max. Yeah, I got them all the way turned up. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Mm, don't think there's a way through. I guess they want us to check in with them. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you, Doctor Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. I guess it doesn't like me either. That got filled in. I should be able to pry this open. Oh, it feels so weird. The vibration, guys. I'm not you. I, you gotta remember, mouse and keyboard doesn't have uh, vibrating. Yes, someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh, what's that stench? Entire camp wiped out. They must have come here to Dell for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. Oh shit. It looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Well, why would I want to mess with whatever the hell is gonna be whatever the hell killed these guys? Oh whatever it was was huge! So something big came in here. came through here, brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. I haven't... We haven't seen any machines in the first game that used acid, did they? Machine cable. Stronger than rope. Okay, nice. 
So we're looking for items to help us rebuild this. Uh, kind of like, ooh, don't walk into the acid. Oh, oh, this stuff burns. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. What? Oh, so do you not craft stuff in your inventory anymore? Pull caster, that's new. Um, an improvised version of the Delver's prototype tool that can latch onto and pull objects also enables grappling to specific points. Yo, okay. There. Uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. Yeah, so there's like a little workbench around. Pole caster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment that have a graded pattern. Well, okay, so it's, uh, it's wielded like secondary. Yeah, so you switch to it like that. Is that considered a... It's not even considered a weapon. It's literally just like a little secondary thing you can just pull out. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Oh, huh. I might be able to get up there. What's this thing for? I don't think I can reach that ladder from here. Well, that door looks promising. But how do I get up there? We're gonna grapple. So they're gonna teach us how to use a grapple hook here. What's this? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to Kareem, introduce thank you for the sub Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. I think I'm doing this right. Oh, you can grapple specific points, jump and tap X. Oh shit. Wow. That works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Okay, so seen another grapple point on the other side somewhere over here. Oh, there's a ladder. Is there anything over here? Chris! Congratulations on 32.6. Hey, man, I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. Oh! Okay, so you gotta jump, hit X.
There it is. Oh, we gotta let the ladder down for uh Okay, I buddy gotta drop the ladder for Varl. There you go, Varl. Thanks. Make sure I didn't miss anything up here. the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. Over here blowing my man's mind. Chris, again, thank you so much. We're doing good, man. Humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. Some good, some good technology, you guys. Still be running after uh, there. The thousands of years. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. 
I guess we'll have to find Sharky Games, what's going on, man? Come on. And again, Chris, dude, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, the fam's doing good, man. Uh, kids are a little sick. We got a little cold thing going on. Nothing crazy, though. Everybody's just chilling. I still can't believe the old ones could fly. They were capable of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there. Among the stars. The wilds have really grown over this place. Well, that point. Oh, there it is. No focus might be able to help Show here. off. Go. I should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. Deeper into the creepy room we go. You guys heard that? Was that a bug? It was a loud ass bug. No, what is that? That's not a fucking there's no way that's a bug. Stalking us. What is that? I think I'm gonna kill those officers. Awesome. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. <coughs> Did you guys see that shit? To breathe around this stuff. Here. Got more little chipmunk guys. Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Stealth kills. Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Okay. There's its patrol path. I gotta get closer and stay out of sight. I can throw a rock to distract it. Get it into a position where I can sneak up and strike. Just have to wait for the right moment. Spotted. Whoops. Oh, I hit the wrong button, guys. I, I meant to throw the rock and I swung my spear. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path.
Okay, so your Locked rocks are two. reusable too. Yeah, the little chipmunk dudes are they can they go in and out of the ground. They're way more advanced than watchers. Way more advanced. Nothing you and I can't handle. Those two down. They're not bad at stealth kill. I mean, they die one hit, so. These are like the lowest of the low level machines. Wait for him to come back this way. Yeah, he just patrols back and forth right here. We'll get him when he comes back. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Dude, you look awesome with the beard. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. Aloy doesn't like the beard? I thought the beard looked awesome. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I hope it didn't suffer long. I'm just hoping that we don't have to fight that snake thing, because that thing was massive. Must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. 
Uh, all I have is a bow and arrow, like a, s a regular ass bow. The g this game would be super savage if they did that. Barricade here. Machines must have broken through. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. I might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. Wow. Blow yourself Dismantled up. it. And got more supplies. I thought we were gonna- I, it'd be- I thought we were gonna be able to, like, keep them. But now you can't keep them. Aaron, with this sub- hey, thank you so much, man. Welcome. Alright, so we just gotta watch ourselves to make sure we don't walk into any, uh, explosive traps. Like camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. Good. So now we got- we do- we have the crafting screen now, so we're gonna head into our inventory. See if we can craft up some traps. I never was big on traps in, um, the first game. I can use this. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. I use them every now and again uh, early game, but it was like once you got like the, the higher level gear, you didn't even need the traps anymore. All right, let's see here. Inventory. What, do you just craft it right- oh, oh, okay, I see, I see. So you craft it right from here. So a simple blast trap that explodes on contact or when shot deals 250 explosive damage. Uh, we need some machine muscles, a couple blast plates, and some metal shards. Too easy. We'll, uh... There. Explosive trap made. We'll do two. If anything walks into one of those... We'll do three. Screw it. Max out on our, our traps. Yeah, the traps seem extremely weak in the in the in the first game. Like the you had the trip caster, which you would you you uh, shoot a bunch of traps, and those were good. But the actual placeables, I'd never seen the point in them. Machines ahead. Don't think they spotted us. I better scan them. I've seen this machine before. It's a scrapper. A scrounger. Oh. That's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Yep, that's what I'll do. So they also got a power cell on them. Right there in the back. Destroy that, you can get a uh, chain reaction. We're gonna test out the power of these traps, see how good they are. I could just stealth kill them, you know what I mean? But they, they want us to learn how to use the traps. It's fine. And we want to see how good the traps are. Wow, one it one shot it.
That's, that's not bad, guys. If those scale like that on low-level machines, yeah, freaking one-shot the machine. Should be it for this one, too. These look like scrappers from, uh... From the first game, but he said these are scroungers. We're clear. That's not bad. been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different. Yeah, so I, I I don't think I think the traps are pretty decent. That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Some Jurassic Park looking vibes here, right guys? What's in here? Aloy, come check this out. Relax, dude. I'm trying to take it all in, man. What is this thing? It's data. You can scan it with your focus. Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. Hmm. Zero Dawn. The tech that Farzenith traded with Trade Zero agreement. Dawn. It doesn't explain how they got a backup. So there was a Zero Dawn trade agreement. Um. Hey, Kevin, thank you for the sub, man. I do appreciate that. And over 200 likes on the live stream, guys. <laughs> you all are truly amazing. Thank you. All right, so the Zero Dawn trade agreement. Uh, High Council Executive Summary Negotiations with representatives from Zero Dawn have, been conclu have concluded, and I'm exceptionally pleased that we've arrived at the mutually profitable agreement. It shows that sugar usually goes down better than salt. In contrast to the less tactful recommendations of certain members a copy of prototype homer archive already sent 500 chambers to the case submarine i don't see anything in here okay in exchange we'll receive a copy of the alpha build of apollo which i believe apollo was in charge of the um terraforming right vlad with the sub i believe apollo was the terraforming part of gaia 
by our estimate, Zero Dawn timeline should be near. Okay, should be noted. Dr. Sobek was very reluctant to agree to this, but I drew a line in the sand to make it clear that we're not negotiable terms. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Apollo was the knowledge? Okay, An Apollo was the knowledge. The one that never got released. Looks like we've got to climb up. We won't be going that way. Well, it is a thousand years old. Made it. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia. Okay, so the terraform is the whole thing. The is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. Oh, shit. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Prawl. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's... More than that, it's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this? Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. 
I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go, okay? Yeah, the, the, like, she's bombarding this man with, like, <laughs> he, he's, he was like a regular-ass tribesman, right? For, like, years and years and years and years. And now all of a sudden she's throwing all this futuristic shit that she had the whole first game to come to terms with. And she's like, listen, dude, you're going you're gonna to be cool with this in episode one. That, that's it. And he, this poor man just... <laughs> he doesn't even know what to do with himself. But it makes sense hey, that these th here. this group would want to steal Gaia uh, because they were trying to move to a whole nother planet and rebuild society or civilization. But it can't help us. And uh, the whole point of Gaia is to take an uninhabitable planet and make it habitable for humans. Uh, so they were trying to take that spaceship Apollo or whatever the hell their ship was, fly to another planet, and then set Gaia off to uh, make the planet livable. Aloy, this is for you. Come take it. Relax, dude. I'm just looking around. What is that? The weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. What kind of weapon? Obtain Frost Blastling? Launch uh, bombs that affect large areas. This weapon fires Frost Bombs. Use them against enemies to build up Brittle State. Okay, so it's just like... Ice weapons from the first game. Let me see. Do I have that? Yep. So we got our frost bass thing right here. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, that must be the machine. Fucking snake, dude. It's heading in the same direction we're going. Great. That thing is huge. So we're just going to sneak up down there, hit him with the uh, cross blast. machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Of course he was did. Was he part of Far Zenith too? Goddamn Ted Farrow, guys. He was worse. Looks like we can cross over here.
Nope. Damn, Ted Farrow, man. think so but I was just searching around guys I'm trying to see if there's anything in the water Are these fish not huntable? Nope. Nothing in the secret waterfall, guys. We got a grapple point over there. I already know the game's gonna make me fight that damn snake. That's not even fair though. Like, at least in the first game, like the biggest machine you gotta fight in the beginning is a freaking sawtooth. Wow. And that was scary. That big metal thing looks like the ship we saw back in the auditorium. Imagine going up to the stars in that. We're all thrown. Machines tore right through them. These guys couldn't catch a brick. Something on the ground here. Further in the ruins, boss tested the latest prototype called a hook and pull. Name needs work, if you ask me. Okay, so this is from the Osram, uh, the guys that came down here on their expedition. They saw the trees shaking across the river. Felt a deep rumble in the dead of night. Land shake. So instead of an earthquake, they call it land shake. Training dummy for. for oh, so th that was the camp that we seen got that got attacked. The one that um, 
we got the pull caster from. Only a few of us left. Kid didn't make it. Machine blasted him with acid at the river crossing. Can hear it slithering outside. Few more minutes rest, then we're going to make a run for it. Doesn't seem like they made it very far. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. Well, we don't have enough blast plates to do another trap. I'm not going to waste the trap on this guy anyways. No, 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 no. Damn it. So wait for that that one to turn around. Sound strike this one. Accidentally, he's freaking set my trap down. So there's no more grass over here. We're just going to have to play this run prior around the pillar. Ladder in the back. Adam. Okay. Now how to get out of here. This one came from over here in this cave. What's in here? Machine ripped right through the wall. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the sacred lands? As the Nora war chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. A sprint jump that. I could have just grabbed it from the ground, <clears throat> honestly. <laughs> I 
Shit looks so good. Oh, man. Was that more than one? Three of those things. And if they slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get over to the shuttle to figure out how to make it fall into the basin. I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. There's another one up there on the top, too, we gotta watch out for. Our medical pouch is full. Maybe I should stick to my spear for now. Save some ammo. Ghost to this thing. They go to your stash? Oh, sent to your stash. Yeah, look at that. What stash? Parker with a sub. Thank you so much. All right, we got to find out what these are for here. This uh, jungle, the gold thorn pepper. What is that used for? It's a food resource. Um. Poisonous for allergic reaction to it. This crunchy, spicy pepper is also known to be edible. Harvested from the gold thorns, which are often found in jungle, used for purchasing food from cooks and settlements. Okay. can get me up to the tower. Oh, right there. Dirtina, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this is gonna be so sketch. Okay, there's a rail up there. I think I can reach it if I launch myself off that grapple point. Oh, uh, well, how the hell do I do that? So, tap circle right before reaching a grapple point to launch in the air. Got it. That was sick. to run jump and there it is so that grapple thing is clutch man this is sketch this shit looks crusty as hell dude I would not I was close one rickety tower down on to the next Jose Albino donated $10. There is a cable Jose, dude, thank you so much, side. man. I really do appreciate that. Uh, that was close. Well, where to go but up. Still holding together. Like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. Oh, I'll bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Right. Um, now we're depending on thousand year old technology to work and let go of this. You know, not to be rusted. Oh, More machines in my way. See me. Console might be in there. Okay. This 
place to myself now. Oh yeah, I forgot about the slowdown time. The aiming with a controller is the worst in the world, guys. I can't stand it. Especially, I mean, I feel like if you play with a controller all the time, like you're used to it, but you get, I, I, I'm a PC guy, so. I only play with a, in a, a controller in extreme cases like this. Where I have no choice. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go around and just uh, loot the area really quick. See if uh, there's any goodies around here. Go ahead and craft up some more arrows. The motion and everything is good. I'm not having issues with it's just the fact that I, I just suck with the controller. It's just that's just all it is. Game's smooth as hell. Bambi, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. But I forgot, um, Nah, this is far from a cra cash grab DLC, dude. This this shit is... It's the real deal. Man, we're only in the tutorial, dude. And it's already... It's nice. Okay. Gotta crush those machines down below. Think it's gonna work? We didn't crush anything. The shuttle's caught up in those cables. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now how to get up the tower? Higher sense. Well, the thing uh, our booze uh, is, I'm used to aiming with my hand, so I'm going from aiming with my hand to aiming with my thumb. You know what I mean? My hand is a lot more precise and reactive than like than, than my thumb. Scanning with my focus could help here. So I think it's just a like I said, it's just a matter of practice. Come on! Here it is! There's no way this 3,000 year old lift is gonna work. Oh, I was about to say, dude. <laughs> You're supposed to take it up? Is gonna pull the whole damn tower down? Oh, oh no, you no 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 not like this. No 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 please Alright, we're good guys. We didn't die. We just fell all the way down. We gotta go back up.
Gravity tried, guys. It tried. And it did not succeed. We will not let it. Right, let's try this again. Make sure we're not missing any goodies like that. Hasta la vista, baby. One down. I just need to climb higher. Damn it. I thought that was the moment. The set of cables. I got super happy. I, I thought that was it, guys. <laughs> it did his fall. An ancient rickety tower with killer machines waiting down below. Maybe you're almost right. But no turning back now. <laughs> Yo, Aloy's strong as hell, I'm telling you guys. Strong as hell. There we go. Ooh, we got a health potion. the other connector now it's time hasta la vista baby Right there, uh, earth grinder, detachable, no, first water canister. Got a blaze system in it, sacks full of acid or acid. Okay, I wonder if I can, um, wonder if I can freeze them. for some extra damage. No, it's, it's gonna take too much. Yeah, it's gonna take way too much to try to freeze them. I'm not gonna waste resources, we're just, we're just gonna aim for the, uh,
Okay, no. That's what we want to hit right there. Was that, dude? I'm over here just hitting buttons, guys. He's getting all weird, wrapping himself. He's gonna leap at me again. There it is. All right, we got skill points to spend. Um, you've earned your first skill points. Skill points are gained by leveling up and completing tasks. Yeah, 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 we all know. All right, so there's like a bunch of different trees. You got like the hunter tree, warrior tree. Unlock new melee combos, increase melee damage and effectiveness, include weapon techniques for warrior bow, 
which include which specializes in close quarters combat. Um, Hunter is pretty much weapon stamina concentration includes uh, weapon techniques for Hunter bow and bolt blaster. We got survivor, which is you know all about the the healing potions, weapon uh, techniques for blastling, shredder gauntlets. Infiltrator. Reduce visibility, movement, noise. Okay, so this is like uh, for stealth. And then we got Machine Master. I think right off the bat, we'll probably go with a little bit of extra. Let me see. Concentration. Increase your concentration limit prolonging its use. Okay, yeah, we'll get that. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. I, yo, the first machine, like, that you go up against, that, that's crazy that they, um, you fight this big ass snake. Now, granted, like, half of it, most of its life, it's trapped, it can't get to you. But still, like, to go from fighting a, uh, a sawtooth in the first game is, like, the big bad in the beginning of the game. That thing was pretty insane. Let's go ahead and craft up some more of these. A lot of resources in the area. Yo, the sawtooth felt like an end game enemy. <laughs> Heal the blight. Restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Okay. I should find the server room. Game is freaking beautiful, man. That's crazy. Been made a member of Far Seven Years. Damn. So how do you how do you get people to pay for it, and then you got to cut people because there's not enough berths for people uh, to sleep on or to accommodate on a ship. So it's like, oh yeah, you know, come donate money to us, and you'll have your place, you know, on this ship. And now all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, well, we got to cut some people. We we don't have enough. But give my money back, dude. We're going to have so much loot by the end of the tutorial here. We're going to be rich. Please be here.
It's here. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. What? Hi. Elizabeth? Uh, Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A Farzan's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Thou shalt not steal. Super advanced teleporting system. <laughs> this ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. This dude, man. Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. Relax, it's Aloy. Not it's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. Yeah, uh, it, it, I'm pretty sure that it had something to do with that. That the reason why their uh, their expedition failed in a fiery explosion. I got it. For all, I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um. There's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Varl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Marad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Meridian Familiar place Jesus this game looks so good guys holy crap By the sun it's true she's come back Bless us The savior of Meridian has returned You earned this welcome you saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, 
That makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. This is still the tutorial? There's no way this is still the tutorial. This is where the game opens up. Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. Pig Tender, thank you so much for the sub. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. Game of came out uh, la today, yep. They really built a statue of Aloy? <laughs> One night for less than <laughs> half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. Yeah, but Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. Yo, we're really in Meridian, though. What, what, what happened? What happened? Oh, okay. I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't Is that know. our old staff? It looks the same as before. I could pull this thing out of my mouth. What? Transmission. No! Oh! Remember that scene with silence at the end? He couldn't. He did. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Can jump to that ledge behind me. Uh, so tap circle without touching, either stick to jump backwards. Okay. Nope. I definitely hit over, but. I, I don't I don't think I understood what that said. Uh, to jump to the side, hold and, and yeah. Okay, X. I had the camera turned. I see. I see. I see. I'm tracking. I'm picking up what they're putting down. Hold L2 and double tap. Oh, yeah, I, I, knew. I, thought, I thought it was telling me something new. Hellcaster can't reach that from here. I need to get closer. I should be able to pull that crane closer. There we go. Some pretty cool uh, climbing puzzle type stuff here. Now, how to cross over to the spot. Should be able to get up there now. I thought 
Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. <laughs> nope. Looks like he tricked me. He transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? <sighs> Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. <laughs> well, doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. a jar. Can I go up through the inside? Now I turned the 3D audio up because it was causing some weird noise. Yo, the spire really um is super advanced because that thing is in great condition. Well, this was probably built by the Gaia, the machine uh, system. There's the note. figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You rigged the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. Or why don't one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you. I want to stab him in the neck. Yes. Well, the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. It's no other choice. Dude, how can graphics be so good? It makes no sense. Like it looks better than real life. <laughs> better let Varl and Marad know what I found. Aloy always has a way. He went inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. And they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Ard, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. 
Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant rite of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. Vinasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Oh, that's a nice spear. Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Gold weapons equal OP. I need to attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Uh, you can tell... Um... You can toggle visit the visibility of Aloy's headpiece. Okay, so we can turn the... We don't want the headpiece on. We can turn it on and off. Try to find these damn workbench. So trade... Trader there. That's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but... It's just a piece of scrap now. Here's a bench. Nope, that's not the bench. Who fell in the battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the battle of the Alight. Bellowback. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Yeah, the power cell and the, the, the power armor here it died, so it's just just armor now. I'm trying to find this workbench. I don't know, maybe does it Okay, it's up top where the mission is. Got it. Alright, we'll talk to these people down here. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. My man gotta I be see. extra strong to just keep his arms out like that, just all I the time. I you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. <laughs> That's the criteria to be the king. That. 
To put things right, <laughs> I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct. Well, there perhaps it is. Marat already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. How did you get the Tanakhs to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakhs like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions. And the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. For Shav. One of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian. Where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Itaman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. Well, that's that little kid we, kid we save. A fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well. I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's... No way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Flashpoint offers moments uh, of emotional choice. How what's your personality is up to you.
I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I didn't crush him. Stay focused. Could have crushed him. What happens after? I'm, ni I'm nice. I can't imagine that. I. I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success, and look forward to your return. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Aloy. Oh. Was there more you needed? My bad, dude. I didn't mean to click on you. Well, time to head west. May the sun bless your path. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say it right? You said it fine, Itaman. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! So, um... This game is on PS4 and PS5. You can play it on both systems. Uh, I'm playing it on PS5. Okay, so we got the uh, workbench right here. The workbench. Here it is. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. What is this? You still owe me five shards. Ruth, Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had. No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. <laughs> May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman. Two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. 
Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> after you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> well, I, I know, I know, you're out. Go, away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Savior, everything's just the way you left. We made sure of it. Well, that's everyone. I guess it was nice to catch up for a little while. Aloy's constantly on the move, guys. Always. Aloy, are you finished with your friends, or do you need more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Ooh la la, um, I don't, I won't be doing any cyberpunk today. I guess Aloy was waiting for him to fall asleep so she can dip on him. Just holy crap.
Oh no, we just started the game. After the two hour tutorial. Raj, thank you so much for the sub. And now the game starts. <laughs> Sparks to steel. <laughs> Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. <laughs> Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet and why is that well the daunt the whole valley it's infested with machines i can handle machines oh i'm sure you can but uh, i'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at chain scrape sounds the all clear look I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from some- Got another skill point. Um... Silent Strike. Deals more damage. Trying to see what all our beginning skills here are. Resonator Blast. First Strike, uh... The melee build up energy in your spear. And then when fully charged, tap R2 to energize your weapon. That sounds pretty dope. We're gonna, we'll, we'll grab that. Oh, wait, is that already something? Oh, no. Here we go. Go ahead and grab that. Wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No Bristlebacks? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't going to happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja's son priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man. So he says. That embassy at Baron Light, 
He's the one supposed to run it! Ah! Great. Definitely enjoying the game, hell yeah. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... what? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy, you know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well... That lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy at Baronlight. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear. And not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. <laughs> Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak... Hey! Shh. Down the valley, then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the smith and chain scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. Acid arrows? I'll find Aaron, and I'll bring him back. Hey! They'll be with the sub. Where do you Thank think you, you so much. What? to the top of the ridge to wait in safety sorry operators under strict orders no passengers till the whistle blows right that's right <laughs> best start cranking <laughs> why why Jorf, would you kindly escort studious to chain scrape and wait for me there you got it i will find errand and i will help clear a path but after that no more excuses Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. Joshua with the sub, thank you. I gotta find Aaron. But it might be good to hit chain scrape first and upgrade my bow. Uh definitely would not mind that. Some loot out of here. This is my stash later. Let me see. So, seriously, that's the map, guys. Cindy, Cindy, thank you so much. Been lurking for a few weeks. Only. I only watched a few gamers. One of them streamed this yesterday. I decided to wait for yours. Love your gameplay style. Thank you so much, and I'm really glad you're enjoying it. All right, guys. I'm looking at scale here, right? If this is... Is this the... If this is the full map, this thing is massive. Like, Chain Scrape is the city that's... Right there, right? That's a good distance. Jesus. It's big. It's big.
But Cindy, again, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. All right, let's go. Trying to see if we can get some eyes on these bristlebacks too while we're making our way. Sure. At least two more hits. Are, we can't even take the boars out that good. Good cool chipmunk dudes. All right. Yeah, the burrowers. Wonder what kind of uh, upgrades we're gonna be able to get once we get the chain scrape. Oh, dude! Well, Zimmer, yeah. I mean, uh, my my goal when I play video games is to sit there and enjoy them, and I, I, I like I like to take in the scenery. I like to get immersed in the world. Like, you know what I mean? Some people, they just bomb through the game. Like, I mean, you know, people can do what they want. That's not my play style, though. I, I like to take my time and enjoy the game. I'm in no rush. Especially when you wait five years for something, you know what I mean? Like, I know some of you, not me. I mean, I've only been waiting like six months, but, uh. When you sit here and you, you wait years for a game to come out, why smash through it and beat it in, in, in a week? You know what I mean? Or a couple days. But Cindy, welcome to the family. I appreciate the membership. Thank you so much. All right, so we're heading over this way. This is Chain Scrape. It's a pretty damn. Outlander approaching. That the savior. Want to come in, savior? So these are the Osram. Welcome to Chain Scrape, savior. Open up, guys. Jorf's orders. Good enough for me. We're gonna be headed back over there. I'm pretty sure we gotta clear out Bye all the machines the at some. Oh my boring. god, that's so nice. Petra, Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too, and not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. <laughs> and right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. Why are everybody so mad? If you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. 
Do they not understand I'm on a mission to save the world? Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Finish. All right, let me see. So, weapon upgrades, outfit upgrades, and trap crafting. Okay, so we can upgrade our hunter bow. Uh, unlocks new ammo, increases weapon stats. So, it seems like in the last game, you would find completely new equipment. And then you would add, like, mods to it. This one, I don't know if we're just adding mods to it or if we're upgrading it. Com oh, no, yeah. Look at that. You can, you're can. you just upgrading the bow's level. So it seems like each weapon has um, different levels and shit. So we'll go level one. Uh, acid hunter arrows. And then can we get level two? Yeah, yeah, I can get level two right now. Weapon stats improved. Okay, so the bow just hits harder. Uh, we get level two hunter bow. Let's see, maybe we can upgrade our frost fling too. I can get level one. That improves the stats. Okay, outfit upgrade. Nora anointed. Oh, so I can't even upgrade that right now. It's locked. Oh no, there it is. I was on I was on number two. Okay, so our, uh we need Fanghorn Antlers. Uh so right now our All that's good. Um we can go ahead and craft up some of these. Uh, an ammo that deals acid damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies to see if they're weak to acid. Yep, okay. Easy. This should be useful. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. So we're gonna go ahead and sell. Can I not talk to this dude? But I'm not exactly you wouldn't be going out west, would you? Keep talking to that lady. You probably have better things to do. Oh, here's a merchant right here. I just wanted to sell some of that crap I had. Oh, this is my stash. Never mind. Why don't you bring Stores are closed at this moment. Yep, work the work, whatever. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Yes. So that that answers that question. All the shops are closed. We still have a store to settle, don't we? Hey, Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven. Didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grip. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? 
Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, no trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they liked my food. Or the ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in the scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildiff. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. All right. That's quite a cutscene for a freaking side quest. You know what we need? Proper survey of the valley. Someone said I had one. We are on the same side here, Olva. The bristlebacks threaten us all. Oh, drop the act. We all know it was What do you want, Olvund? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? Can you skip? Why would we skip? If blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it. What other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the Savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of use. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. I can't Don't wait to see what these things are. You want that embassy to take place? Well, let's get to it, hey? And off you go. It's an so asshole. Fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well. I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. 
You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. And tell the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives! Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work, while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people, for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. You said you founded Chain Scrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I yeah, this dude, he knows how to talk. When it was just a smattering of tents in Baron Light's shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is, thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks, and when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. All right, the bristlebacks, we'll baby. <laughs> see another Look, side quest over here. He's shady, for sure, guys. He's so super shady. Like when you sit there and claim to be for the people. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast of Chain Scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave in happened, but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as their blast hit, the tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. Okay. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the backing to get them open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Who's Corvind? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvin's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvind who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable... I'd rather suffer Olvind's wrath than die buried in rubble. I could check in on your crew, if I'm in the area. I... would appreciate that. Thank you.
Alright. So we got those side quests. Let's see. So our main quest is to find Aaron. And uh, we got side quests here. One is level seven. That's that's a kind of above where we are right now. Um, this one's level five though, which is still kind of above where we are. But the the main quest is a level five quest. So I think we're gonna push. We'll go look up this deep trouble. Try to go um, help these guys out in the mine. Let's see, is there anything else in this area that I need to check out? Uh, we're going to hold off on the bristlebacks at the moment, though, because that, like I said, level 7, that's that's a pretty big difference between where I am right now. Just Vincent, what's going on? I'll drink you under the table anytime. Means those bristlebacks are probably nobody to mess. They're not machines to mess around with. It's a nice settlement, though. How do we get up in there? Oh, it's another, um, another store that we can't use because everything slows down. But Just Vincent, how you doing today, man? So what, what's her face? Um, also wanted us to meet her in the bar. What was her, her name? Uh, Pat Patricia or something like that. But I don't see that on the, uh, ooh, what is this? I didn't, I didn't, I don't know where that bar is or where to even look for it. Machine strike beginner. Ah, finally. Let's see what this is. Oh, maybe, maybe she's in here. Ask her. I don't know. Patra, yeah. Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all Vince bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. 
claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvant has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscreen. Oh, we heard. <laughs> we heard. Oh, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. So there's something here. What is this? Aloy. No one wants to play strike. No? Play machine strike? Come to revel in some strike, sister. Is this Gwen? I was just passing by. Is it Gwen? First timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set, a Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. I don't know what this is. We're about to find out right now. It's called, it's called, um, Machine Strike. All right, beginner's, to, uh, opponent set. All right, let me see. Beginner's tutorial. Beginner set. So what do I just get two of the little chipmunk dudes? All right, let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that machine strike is a game of pure strategy. Yo, is this like fucking chess? You get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine. And each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. Swanee it can be tricky remembering the details of every Is this machine, Gwen? so Is we this use Gwen? these notes Dude, to keep track of don't make me laugh like that when you I'm You see recall. that number on the top right corner? <laughs> All right, right there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move. It was fucking how powerful their attacks are. It's like chess. The distance they can strike from. And of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. That's I funny, board, dude. Thank so you so much, I man. I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. So why does hers have an attack and mine don't? I only have four health and zero defense. All right, whatever. Remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. I know. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. So go ahead and pick a second machine. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let 
me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move... When performing an attack, you'll okay, be so testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. And your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Did you get all that? Yeah, lady, it's super easy. I, my question is, yo, are there boards with different terrains, like, like multi-terrain boards? Yo, this game is dope! Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking my machine. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. Can See we just... how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? Mm -mm. You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Wait, uh, how do I get the ability to make my, my machine sprint? Is that like, uh, is that the burrower's special ability or something? Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Oh. Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Yeah, because if Let's I were to try doing that now, so you can see. No, what no, I mean. no, 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 no. I don't. I wouldn't want to do that because the problem is if I use overcharge right now, take away two HP, I'll do two d points of damage to her machine. But then I also do two points of damage to myself. Then she'll be able to turn around and attack me outright and just kill my machine. I'll be down a machine. Overcharge I'm not doing it. Your machine to attack no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Game trying to tell me to do some stupid shit. Just overcharge your machine and attack mine. That's about it for your turn. Now she's gonna be able to attack and destroy me. Like, how are you gonna, how are you gonna tell me what to do so you can win? <laughs> now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Oh, is it same as in the wilds? Machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Oh. Hit them there, and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those, and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now, let that machine have it. Oh, yeah, so it does plus one damage because I'm hitting it on the on the red on the red part yo this shit is so in depth this is a crate yo this game is awesome off the board she goes and there's your first victory points you don't have seven of them yet so let's keep going your machine attack go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece you've already attacked a machine and moved your piece but if you overcharge your machine you can attack a second time Want to kill my machine, though? If I look up your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. Oh. But sometimes, that can be a good thing. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time, and I'll show you what I mean. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're going to receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. 
Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the Savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. I know I've lost my fair share of pieces after <laughs> night of machine hunting or brew hopping. Oh, no need to thank me. Always a Skywalker, what's going on? Strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. Aloy, don't seem so dis like she seems so disgusting. Like, <laughs> I'll think about it. No. If I didn't, if if I train a knockback. All right, because so we anytime. yeah we're definitely coming back. So there is machine strike. Now Petra is, is she in here somewhere? You guys see Petra anywhere? Oh, there she is. Okay. You knew you couldn't resist some good company. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Well, she seems so happy. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stop by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the bristlebacks are gone. But how could bristlebacks and the daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. 
You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer money. than a scrapper in a yep. junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. Well, I, uh... I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. See, we're a good friend, guys. We're a good friend. So I can't believe. I still can't get over how good this damn game looks. It's ridiculous. All right, so first things first, let's go over. I got the. Uh, yep, we're gonna head over to the mine. Where did my uh, my mount go? Probably have to get me a new one. So I don't have the ability to call on the mount, so that means that I don't have one right now. It's a dead machine. It must be a bristleback. Maybe Erend took it down? So that's what a bristleback looks like? It's soaked with acid. Did the bristlebacks do this? Either that or they killed it with acid. Now I know for that cook dude, didn't he wanted us to get boar, I believe. Let me see. It's just so I know Aaron's uh a dash of courage. So we gotta get five gather five wild meat and uh, bitter leaves. We already got two out of three bitter leaves, though. So uh, while we're out here, we'll be uh, hunting these boar. Good shot. Okay, we got one of the meats. Fire could do a lot of damage.
Oh, good shot. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I gotta learn that melee combat. Oh shit, okay, it called all three of them. That happened. It, it did. Over 400 likes on the stream, guys. You guys are insane. Thank you so much. Alright, let's try this again. Try to see if there's any other boar in the area. Yeah, I definitely can't delay on healing. I, I took out the damage I just took right there was insanity. They hit hard. Even those little weak machines. the mine up here. Doug, man, how you doing? It's going good, man. It's going good for sure. There it is. So it's nice. You can use your focus, and it actually shows, like, climbing points on the rocks. Smoke. Coming from where Honor said I'd find his crew. Heard some kind of wildlife of some sort. More. I had to go pick up my kiddos now. We're all watching. Mine saying hi to Michaela and Bentley. And that they should always do their chores. <laughs> like and sub. Hey, Michaela and Bentley, for sure. Need to help out your parents who do them chores. And how you guys doing? Thank you for everybody for watching. More. I really do appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much. Our children don't understand how much it really does help when they do chores. Oh my god, lifesavers! My this oldest son, he's told me about. he's a godsend. It looks like the miners are in trouble. Oh shit! What happened? I can grab this for my stash later. That looks like the foreman Arnif mentioned. 
I should check. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin, Arnav sent me. I'm not, not now. Uh, uh, Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. Uh, some of my guys are still. They're still down there. I can't. I can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Yeah, guys, the, the side quest, everything, it's all fully animated. <laughs> that, that's a good thing to point out. Um, you know, instead of just Aloy standing here, the person standing here, and then you're just talking across from each other, it is legitimately fully animated. Like, I don't know, I feel like the, the characters have character. It's really, really nice. All right, let's head in there, see if we can rescue these two more people. You heard that? Did that come from in the mine? Crimson Narrows. Gotta find those two miners, quick. On that path. We gotta loot first, dude. I'm sorry. I think he'll understand. No, no, no. Stop going under the water, Eloy. I need you to loot this crate. Oh. There it is. There it is. Oh no, come on, we had it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can't like get to it. It's like Every time you, maybe I can jump up here. Nope. Like, is this what you guys have to go through? Play. There it is. Woo! Um, I think that burrower sound shell. I think we needed that to upgrade our armor. I believe. Oh, you can boost off objects underwater to give yourself a little push. Because when you when you swim like that fast, it uses up your uh, your air. The miners. One of them doesn't look too good. I think I'm starting to see things. Is that a door? Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? 
My leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move. And I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft. And blow it sky high. Hopefully without bringing the mine down on top of me. get my air back uh yo the, the current right there was crazy i couldn't even go forward oh come on please 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 Ooh. almost there i'll get my kit dry at least oh <sighs> made it there's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track, maybe I can blast through the blockage. Yeah, we need to get up there. Well, I think we gotta do that once we get the area clear. Maybe I can swim past unnoticed. Good, we got past them. It's going cauldron once we get out of my business. Omar, game is definitely good, man. If you like the first one, you'll definitely like this one. So the only way you couldn't like this game is if you just didn't if you just don't like Horizon period. Oh, you can make a stealth area out of these mushrooms. Whoop. 
Whoop. Didn't mean to use that. Quiet. That's not the melee. The melee was one of the most underwhelming things in the first game. That's all of them. Now to find a way out of this room. Did you guys see that shit? I won't be doing cyberpunk today. No, I'll be doing uh, cyberpunk tomorrow. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. Well, we're trying to loot the area. Right, we got everything over here, right? Yep. Nice one. Heard somebody talking. Stuff for the stash. Once the uh, stores are open up. Because we got a lot of valuables we can sell. The explosives up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Really, dude. All right, we got all the water out. Oh, well, that got its attention. Whoa, 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 dude. I don't remember them being able to do that.
but the melee is definitely viable. Definitely viable. Check on those miners. So that was the high ground up area up there that I wanted to get to. Cross this. Nope, we can't cross that. Why did you not cross it? Sonny, what's up, dude? Welcome to the family, son. Sonny, dude, man, with the rehab, I appreciate that. Good to see you, man. There we go. Know that. That looks like it. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Better let Corvin know his men are all right. So what was up with that one? Uh, I didn't scan it, did I? We got attacked by a burrow. Or, oh, it was. I think it was a different variant. Look at how many different variants there can be, guys, of burrowers. Um, we definitely just got introduced to a different variant, though, because that one was able to shoot like, like uh, ice shit at me. So I think we ran into another uh, variant of a burrower. I didn't. I just. I didn't scan it. I gotta make sure I get on top of that. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. 
Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, <sighs> he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. There it is. Ulvan's name keeps coming up. And it's never good. Got another skill point. So... Nora Warrior, uh, powerful melee combo that comes among Nora Warriors. So R1, R1, R2. Pretty sick. Block Breaker. So what is our combo right now if I hit R1, R1, R2? Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to do with him. It feels like I already have that combo. Let me see. So, deep concentration uh, depletes slowly, uh, giving us more use. Concentration regain. Recover concentration faster. Uh, aim L2 to enter concentration mode. So, okay. Yeah, so, that's just uh, more recovery time. And um, this gives us more of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get us a uh, charger. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll do that. We gotta hunt the meat. I forgot we had to we had to do that while we we're out here. Keep our eyes open for some boar. I have two more skill points off, seriously? Oh shit, I do. So what is this? Um, this is a weapon technique. Can be re- re- okay. Can be recognized by its, uh, little weird triangle shape. So this is the Hunter Bow Volley. Or High Volley. Fire, um, high arcing volley of arrows to rain down on my enemies. Some pretty uh uses current okay. That's pretty that's pretty legit. Let me see melee here. Oh wow, the the melee tree is huge. So what is this critical? So we need to learn three connected skills in order to get this. Maybe I'll grab both of these melee skills. I don't know. There's just so many different. Potent oh, medicine uh, provide more healing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're actually de definitely going to grab that. Because we're playing on a harder difficulty, I want to make sure that um, we're getting more payout for our uh, for our healing there. Machine Master, Mounted Defense, take less damage while mounted.
surprised I haven't been able to find any boar. Thing. He was like laying on the ground, like scratching his back on the ground or whatnot. Another boar somewhere. Right there. Wild meat for Nildif. Holy shit. Okay, so now we got to find this, uh, this plant, whatever that is. Scroungers. Moldov said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. The damage is pure insanity. Okay, so we're just in the area here. We're going to be looking... We're looking for... Uh, oh, this is the corrugated metal plate. So this is where the actual scrounger nest was. Scroungers. Moldov said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. <laughs> It's got to be a little smarter this time. Died in the easy two hits right there. Uh, we're playing on hard. Two hits. Yeah, two hits is all it takes in this freaking difficulty. Uh, at least at my current level. Like, I upgraded my gear, too. That's the crazy thing is my armor is slightly upgraded. Huh? 
Then I want to go throw the rock, hit the run button. The scrap piles for a metal panel. Okay. Nice. Got all the bitter leaf. I'll stash this away for later. Oh, so you can repair your damage mount um, baseline, guys. It, it used to be a skill. No metal panel. I would check another scrap pile. be up here. I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. Good thing too. I can use a decent meal. Yeah, true. You already unlocked it in the first game. A lot of the stuff that we had to work towards seemed like yeah, like it like it's baseline in this one. Except our weaponry. We don't we don't have any weapons. No. I wanted you to no. There we go. No. Whatever. So we got all of the stuff we needed for both of those quests. The mounts are way smoother too. Um, to ride on. They don't have that feeling like they like they want to go in their own direction. Make sure we're headed back to the right spot. Yeah, they're very, very, uh, very, very responsive this time around. another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, 
I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used. I do think the game's worth it for sure. Salt. Instead of two. Uh, each <laughs> journey begins. There with it is. Step, I guess. There it is. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. This shit looks good, doesn't it? Wow. Mild, if that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. Uh, Jake, I don't know exactly what I'll be playing today. Um, outside of this, uh, I haven't, I haven't put that much thought into the day yet. Got more skill points already, guys. We're just raking in freaking skill points. It's crazy. Forte with the sub. Thank you so much. So food provides temporary benefits and skill boosts. Uh... Just your concentration, recovery time. Bring uh, ingredients to cooks throughout the world to purchase food. Uh, only one food effect can be effect, uh, active at a time. It might be a good idea to stock up on some food before I head back out. And see what else. I'll just cook out. Back for that free meal? Go on, peruse my menu. Okay. So, okay, in order to do that, yeah, you need to have certain ingredients for sure. I have none of the ingredients. Uh, the local stew, this gives us plus 20% uh, max health for three minutes. That's a pretty big buff. Restores um, health and restores stamina. Ephraim, thank you so much for the sub. Bitter boar, um, this is the concentration regain. Recover concentration faster. Uh, aim at L2. Okay, so that that that's all for your the slow mo. Pot stop, uh, low health regen. So that just uh, boosts low health regen. Brew battered wedges. It's a low health melee. Oh, melee attacks deal more damage when you're dangerously wounded. Uh, forge black and sirline. Trap limit. Place more traps and trip wires on the field at the same time. So that allows you to play place more traps than you usually can. It's three. So all these last for three minutes too. Meet in the middle. Stamina regen. Recover weapon stamina faster to use weapon techniques. Yep. And mild of treat. This is melee attack damage. Deal more damage with light and heavy attacks. So that's just a str wow. Okay. And it restores seventy five health and seventy five stamina. So none of the stuff costs anything. There's no way, dude. So he's gonna give me all this food for free is because I did that mission for him. Oh. Okay. I, I see what's going on here. I should have grabbed the melee attack one. Here are these. So you can only hold... I'll add... Oh, now they cost, now they cost some, oh man, dude. 
I should have grabbed the good ones when I had them free. Whatever. We got those. Low on shards. Merchants across the world will pay. Yeah, yeah. We, we haven't been able to find any of those yet. So, in order to activate some merchants, I believe we got to get rid of these bristle, the bristlebacks. That is a hell of a name. You're right. Thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Let me see here. So maybe we'll go link up with uh, Aaron here. Because isn't Aaron supposed to be the one that's supposed to help us also take on these bristlebacks? So we're going to go try to link up with a, a longtime friend. Oh shit. There's one of them bristlebacks. something hold tight I'll see what I can do try luring them into the trip wires Steady. Oh, that's my machine Happen, guys, just like you've seen it. Oops. Seriously? There we go. Took me- I had to figure out how to, uh, use the rocks again. Tripwire's not doing anything, dude. I don't know what killed me either, guys. I got literally one shot. Why 
think the trip wires are for? Dude, ain't nobody got time for all that, dude. The trip wires just gives him a little zap. Doesn't even kill him. One. Hello, Red. What a day, what a day. Thank the forge you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but she hunts the youngest game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. Where's Aaron, Dad, dude? I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than... Vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the daunt, you're gonna want a trip caster. Not oh. just any trip caster. One of my make. Free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, uh, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. Let me guess. Elvind. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Ulven discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Nope. Karn said true. Just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip, Caster trial? Come by later if you want to nice. try it out. Nice. Maybe after I get things under control. So the hunting, uh, the hunting trials seem like they're in this game too. Should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Yep, we know how to use the trip caster. These are like mini uh behemoths. Didn't get very much from that. Uh, Sharky, I was actually thinking about maybe doing another um, episode today, but I got I gotta go around. I gotta see what I got going on. Um, after we finish this episode. Okay, 
this. What am I supposed to do? Okay, we're looking for Aaron's tracks. Tracks. Guys, we're at 463 likes. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yes, see the bristlebacks? They're, they're. It's not like it's running away from me. It's not trying to fight. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. What are those? Another one down! Now this! This is what I was forged for. No ledgers to fill. <laughs> no... Boring mid-afternoon patrols. Just a hammer. Just the fight. There he is. Aloy. Errand. And talk all that shit and then run away, dude. Stay where you are. I'll handle the rest. Here we go. Damn. I should be down there. Not for those, guys. Oh shit, there's two of them. Those bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. Muscle backs weren't that bad. As long as you hit them with the acid arrows. The acid arrows are strong. 
extremely effective. It's extremely effective. Uh, a coil is now in your inventory. Unlock coil slots on your weapons by upgrading them. Equip coils you loot or purchase to Oh, so are coils kind of like the uh, the weapon mods? Okay, yep. So that's more melee defense. This is uh, better acid damage. Only thing is, if I add this to my, um, oh, okay, so I can't even put coils on those yet. We got a lot of these meds in our stash. Get the green crystal? Is that a thing? I did see that green thing on the wall over here. I didn't know what that was. Oh, there's another way for me to get around when I was uh, fighting those dudes. Oh, shit. Green shine silver. Or sliver. Green shine sliver. Gemstone. That's green like blaze, but... Hard and shiny. Wonder if merchants would be interested. It's a rare and valuable resource hidden all over the world. Okay, we can use it for upgrading certain weapons. Ah, uh, <laughs> caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this. Uh, who needs ribs? Huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Erend, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's... Still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great. I, I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what? Whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Oh. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. A couple of days rest. It's that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's. It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> now that figures. <sighs> Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. <sighs> Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. You know, after the battle at the Spire, when you, you took off, you left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? And look, I'm sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. 
And I know it's not easy now, but what I've been doing... Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. Your life on Earth? Yeah. Everything dies unless I succeed. Well, then let me help. Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I... I can't even explain it. Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much for being useful. Okay. Errand! By the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. We'll make it without you. He's really in his feelings about that. That doesn't sound good. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. Okay, go to the source of the explosion, but we also have a quest here, which is Bristlebacks, and I believe that's literally in the same exact location. Yeah. So this whole location over here is uh, what we need. Relics. All right, guys. Well, we've been going for almost five hours. I don't want this. I don't want this stream to be insanely long. Um, so we're gonna break it up into different parts. Um, I'm gonna go eat. Uh, we're gonna end this here. I might play some more of this today, uh, later on, but, uh, for right now, I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna go eat, uh, might do some other stuff, too. I gotta go, I'm gonna go plan what we're gonna do today, guys. Definitely gonna go plan, but, yes, definitely an amazing game. It's the horizon we know and love, <laughs> plus, uh, we're still, I can tell I'm just getting in the beginning of the game, um, and we, there's, I can't even imagine how much is in front of us, guys, can't even imagine. But we got 479 likes on the stream. I do appreciate that. Uh, again, like I said, give me a little bit, guys. I'm going to go eat. I'm absolutely starving. I haven't ate anything. I literally woke up and jumped right on and started doing this. So uh, thank you, everybody. If you haven't, smash that like button on your way out. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really, really does help. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.